This is Buggy Boy, come to Papa. I'm actually normally used to playing the Amstrad CPC version, um, and on the rare occasions, the arcade. The arcade version was absolutely amazing. It still is. There's also a widescreen version available where you can play over multiple monitors. If you've got the cash, then definitely splash out on that. It's um, a real thing of beauty to experience and play, despite being highly illegal to do so. But it uses MAME and other emulation technology. Anyways, back to Boogie Boy for the Amiga then. I was actually given an Amiga 500 a few years back uh, and I played around with it, but nothing too serious at the time as I didn't have many games for it and a heck of a lot of time. But recently I thought sod it and uh, purchased a few games during lockdown for it and thought I'd give it a thrashing. The reality is I've not been able to put the Amiga down since. There's so many good games uh, I've played already, but there's still piles. I've got still piles of games uh, that, that I'd like to get through. Visually, this Boogie Boy on the Amiga is definitely better than the Amstrad and 64 versions. Uh, and the fact that the Amiga is a 16-bit um, computer, you know, the clues are there. Although I find this version highly playable, I still can't decide if I prefer this more than the Commodore 64 or Amstrad CPC version. And that's not altogether a bad thing. I like the Commodore 64 version a heck of a lot. It runs just as fast as the Amiga, probably a little bit more, I'm not sure. But I guess it really all comes down to personal preference. Some people will prefer the better graphics, the higher res. Some people might prefer the sounds uh, and music of the Commodore 64. So it really is anybody's. A point uh, I'd like to make about this in comparison to the arcade version and the 8 bits as well. If you watch the or play the arcade version of Boogie Boy, what you'll notice straight away is you're up against other vehicles, other cars. Uh, it might be like Outrun in the sense that you're racing to the finish line, but in the Amiga, being a 16 bit version as well, I think you have to mark it down a little bit because it should have included the cars. Now, if it does and I'm missing something, then let me know uh, in the comments. There's also five stages to this game. You've got off-road, north, east, west and south. Uh, the off-road course just walks around uh, back to the start, where the others you've got to actually uh, complete all the different stages. There's all sorts of bonuses in this game. You've got the coloured flags which give you 30 points. You get 1,000 bonus points if you collect all the flags in the, in the certain order that's highlighted at the top of the screen. The different gates give you 100, 250 or 500 points. And then there's the part where you drive through the time gate to get more, to notch more seconds on the clock. You get 2,000 points if you hit the football. You get that in the Commodore 64 and the other 8-bit versions as well. Strangely though, the, the sound when you hit the ball in the Amiga version is really paltry when compared to the 8-bits. You come across all sorts of uh, graphics, the bridges, tunnels, but as you can see there's all sorts of obstacles, boulders, fences, sticks on the ground. They will all take away your valuable time that you need to cross the finish line. Then there's the old Dukes of Hazard move where if you hit a stone or a little brick, you, you go up on two wheels. That's really cool actually. Now I know this isn't true for the Amiga version, but I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. But the arcade version of Buggy Boy appears in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die by the uh, general editor Tony Mott. And that's pretty impressive. Um, Ace Computer Magazine in 1998 included Buggy Boy in the top 100 list. Amiga Power in 1991. They positioned it as the 78th of all time in their top 100 Amiga games. Commodore Force in 1993, according to a reader's top 100, it came 94, so that's bloody good. And Commodore Format, issue 4, listed in the A to Z of Classic Games article, and said it was a great game. What I find unbelievable is the Atari ST version, apparently, allegedly, uh, had better sound than the Amiga. 
So I'm going to need to check that out at some point and, and see if that's the case or not. But that was reported by the Games Machine in 88. What's also interesting is Zap uh, in 98 gave the Amiga version 92% and they stated a very accurate conversion with highly addictive qualities a must for fans of the racing genre so I've had a playthrough, I've had a think about it and I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10 so I'll leave it there and thanks for watching again uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content I believe, but don't quote me on this, Lotus Turbo Challenge will be next. Bye!